Hey, Sangrash from the Hidden Levels here with uh, Achievement Guide for Wheels of Aurelia. Uh, let me get straight into the Achievement Guide first and then I'll describe what's going on. Uh, this, when given dialogue choice, always choose dot dot dot, which means to say nothing. Take the first right exit to Bracciano. Then take the first left exit to Piombino. And finally, for this first playthrough, drive as fast as possible. Go fast. Uh, keep your fingers held down. You can crash. It doesn't matter. Just keep your fingers held down on A and RT to just accelerate. All right. So, uh, okay, what's going on here is we're gonna try to get ending A, Silent Sage, and Baticure achievement. What those are is obviously ending A is to get one of the 16 endings called ending A. Silent Sage is to play indifferent, which means to say that you don't choose any dialogue choices or you just uh, stay silent. And Baticure achievement is to for beating the game in under 15 minutes. All right, so <clears throat> for this first playthrough, I'm going to show you the full playthrough without any editing. But uh, starting with the second uh, playthrough, because there are 16 endings and I want to show them all to you uh, with minimum uh, hassle uh, and uh, as short a video as possible. I'm gonna be cutting out the in between the driving parts unless they are needed. Uh, you have to see them, like uh, conversations are necessary. You have to pick up a hitchhiker or you have to do something. Uh, otherwise, they'll be just edited out and um, I'll only show you the important parts. Uh, basically, what happens is you drive and you talk and um, what you say and what you do. Uh, makes a difference and that ends up with uh, different endings there are total in total 16 endings to this game <coughs> so like uh, picking up hitchhikers um, pick and uh, getting them to the right destination or not uh, going to like robbing a bank uh, meeting with other people and uh, making decisions whether to go with them or staying with the your current uh, per drive, driving partner uh, stuff like that that'll make uh, or break each of the endings so for this one uh, you want to get stay with that girl and then uh, all the way to the end and um, in the end you want to let her uh, you know you want to get her to the hospital as fast as possible uh, and then uh, stay with her the end at the uh, Viareggio, which is a French town <coughs> well, not a French town, but a town in the border of Italy and France Alright, so and um, I f it turns out the originally I think in the Steam version and I don't take I take the exit on the right as I mentioned here. Uh, yeah, I should describe the game first. G game is broken into first driving section, intermission, second driving section, intermission, third driving section, and a finale. Uh, first and second driving sections have exits, um, so. If you are going straight, uh, you'll end up in uh, Setavecchia. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that uh, town name right. If you take the right exit, you'll end up in uh, Bracciano. From uh, Setavecchia, if you keep going straight, you'll end up in Piombino. If you go to the right, you'll end up in Siena. From uh, Bracciano, if you keep going, you'll end up in Siena. If you take the left, you'll end up in Piombino. <coughs> so here we ended up in Bracciano. This is the, this doesn't have any uh, dialogue choices because we're going for the Silent Sage achievement. On the Steam and PlayStation 4 Vita versions, uh, you're able to uh, make choices in the intermissions. But it turns out on the Xbox One version, if you have to make a choice in an intermission, that counts as talking and you can't get the achievement. Also, if this is your first time playing, um, you have to make a choice in the tutor tutorial and that also might count as talking. 
So you may want to do this on your second or second or further playthrough. You'll have to play through this game at least 16 times. I I had to play more than that. I'm I'm already on my 20th playthrough and I'm not done. Uh, I'm recording this before having finished the game completely. So yeah, I expect to be playing like 20, uh, 25 times, even with this guide. Because sometimes dialogues, you think you're making the right choices, but even s it, they are quite random. So sometimes you still end up with ending I instead of ending J like there because they are very similar like one one mistake could cost you one of the endings so yeah I'll try to walk through walk you through as best as possible but yep, that's what happens here you're racing against uh, Valerio uh, <coughs> what needs to happen is uh, if you go straight and you win the race you can take his car but uh, we're gonna take a left which is not the right route for the race and you automatically lose even if you if you are in ahead of him because you took the wrong route and you'll lose your car no matter what there okay so okay, make sure you're not talking I don't want to say anything Except for this achievement, uh, for the most part, conversation don't. Uh, you can talk if you want uh, you know, to see the story. And only a few conversation matters, and I'll point them out uh, in future playthroughs. Uh, from endings A through D, conversations don't matter at all. You can, you can choose whatever except during intermissions because you want to uh, meet some people and, and do stuff to make sure to get those endings so here we'll be taking the left exit pretty soon coming up you can see each playthrough is about 15 minutes uh, sometimes you have to actually drive slow so it'll take a little bit longer maybe 20 minutes uh, in like some of the playthrough um, you'll get caught by the police or something like that and it just ends right away uh, so for that you it might be like uh, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. So, it's not a terribly long game, just 16 different endings. And it does get a little, little bit <laughs> tedious to do them all. But, um, you know, interesting enough story. Uh, and the conversations are somewhat random, so it's not too boring. Right, so we're coming up to the second intersection pretty quick. Uh, also, you'll notice hitchhikers along the way. Um, you can pick them up, you don't have to. Uh, there is an achievement to pick up all six hitchhikers, so uh, I will be showing them at the end. Like, um, you know, after getting all the endings, uh, there is an achievement to get all the cars uh, and all the hitchhikers. So we'll be doing those. Um, the other stuff uh, you'll get from uh, playing all the endings. Uh, you might also get like getting all the cars. I'm not sure. As I said, I don't. I'm still playing through the game. I only have 12 of the 16 endings at the moment. I do know that unless you decide to pick up hitchhikers along the way that um, just for the endings, purpose of the endings will not get all the hitchhikers. Okay, so you are in a van, a uh, hippie's van. So this van i think it might be the only way might be to go to the uh, go to barciano and then uh, Pam, uh, Pam Pim Bioni, yeah, to get this uh, <coughs> because uh, the reason we take those two routes is because that's the only two only route that you actually don't say anything in an intermission so like you don't get any choices other other things like if you go to the Tessa GP I can't pronounce the freaking town's name. Whatever the town on the left for uh, for the first intermission, you'll meet up with the racer and he'll ask if you're traveling alone and you have to answer. 
or whether you are traveling alone or you're traveling with a friend. So the town says talk to you. And if you continue from there onto either just straight or to the right, um, the racer, if you decided to stay with um, Olga, your friend there, um, then you, you, you have to. I don't think you get any choice if you do that. But if you stay with the race, if you decided to go with the race, so you have a choice to split with, uh, steal a car, or uh, to stay in your own car. You have to make a choice there. Uh, if you go to Siena, or if you go to the uh, Barciano, you don't get any uh, talking choice. And after that, if you go to Siena, Either way, if you go with the racer or Olga to Siena, or if you go with the racer into Siena, you have you have to make a bunch of choices. Uh, you, do you stay with the racer? Do you stay with Olga? Do you stay with the? Uh, do you decide to take the racer's car? Do you decide to? Um, and then you'll meet. If you don't have any car, you'll meet with the priest. Uh, <laughs> then. You have to say something to you know, go with the priest. A lot of stuff happens, so. <coughs> uh, you'll see all these uh, as we show other endings, uh, and I'll tell you which route to take, which uh, choice, which answers to make all that fun stuff but for now uh, for getting to Viareggio as quickly as possible uh, you'll have satisfied the um, condition for ending A and you'll get that ending pretty soon here uh, along with uh, Silent Sage and Betty Cure uh, at the uh, for the purpose of this recording, I've already had the ending A achievement unlocked and uh, as well as particular achievement. So you will only see me unlock Silent Sage, but rest assured if this is your first time getting to this ending, and also if this is your first time finishing the game in under 15 minutes, you'll get both. Alright. So here we are going to see the ending. Obviously this is a spoiler. Um, if you're looking at a guide, uh, you ex I expect you to understand that there are going to be spoilers. So yep. That is ending A. I'm going to show you the credits. Uh, I sped up, but yeah, I'm going to show you all the credits here. Just want to give a shout out to the team that made the game. Um, it's a unique take on racing and narrative. Um, uh, I believe in the Steam version, uh, they have updated, so you can actually start at other cities you can start at Bracciano or uh, <coughs> but for some reason uh, they haven't included that here so that's missing that's a little bit unfortunate I would have saved some time uh, because the first section don't really matter yeah don't take the right exit we wanna go straight <coughs> and the car you choose to start with doesn't matter like I said I'm cutting out parts uh, I'm sorry, it was City Vecchia. Civita Vecchia. Civita Vecchia, yeah. Oh, Civita Vecchia is the city. <coughs> and yeah, she tells you she's pregnant. And so you, make, you have to make a decision. Do you still go with her or you ditch her? So here, I'll answer that you are traveling with a friend. So that uh, you continue traveling with her instead of. Uh, uh, sending her back to Rome and uh, going with the racer. So continue on. Here, you want to drive carefully. She is pregnant. 
don't crash. You can speed up if you want, you don't have to drive slow, but don't crash. If you crash too much, it goes to another ending, so make sure you don't crash too much. Uh, you can crash like a few times, you just saw me crash there, that's okay. <coughs> and also you can, uh, you can talk if you want, like I'm doing here. Else here, don't take that right exit. You wanna continue on to Piombino. And then I'm gonna cut to the intermission. Okay, so we arrived at Piombino and she thanks you for being kind. That's your cue. If you don't see that, if she's mad at you for uh, driving like a maniac, then yeah, you might as well restart because uh, you're you're locked out of ending B at this point. Here, drive very slowly without crashing. Uh, she's gonna be like, oh, I feel dizzy. Can you drive faster and all like all that? But yeah, don't respect her wishes. Just keep driving very slowly. Like really piss her off. And if you do this, but just keep like really piss her off. Just keep going very slow, like I'm doing here. I'm I'm not pressing the accelerator at all. I'm just driving really slow. Also, like you can crash a few times, but don't crash too much there. There is no known like. You can crash five times safe. But there's no known number for that, so as little as possible is what you want. So yeah, she's really pissed off, like because you went so slow, and she was like, oh, "Can you drive faster, faster?" And here is ending B. Uh, if this is your first time seeing ending B, uh, you'll get the achievement for that. Because she drives so slow here, I don't think uh, probably fif under 50 minutes, you probably will miss this. Uh, yeah, but you have 16, at least 16 chances to get this. Yeah, as you can see, I already have A, B, I, K, L completed. Because, you know, I already played this game, obviously, a few times before um, getting these endings. But uh, this video series, uh, the walkthrough video, it shows from A through um, P in the order. So here is ending C, as uh, same as before. I'm gonna be cutting some stuff out and showing you which exit to take. Here, will you want to take the right exit to Bracciano? At Bracciano, uh, as soon as we arrive, some racers gonna challenge us, and we will race. <coughs> this time, we'll, instead of taking the left exit like we did in uh, for achievement and the A, we will continue on to Siena. What we want to do is we wanna try and win the race. Uh, if you can win the race, you have to win the race at least once because we want the racing car. We want to take the car. Um, the achievement for unlocking all the cars, we, it requires this uh, because we have to, whatever car we end <coughs> up with at the end when you reach Via Reggio is the car that unlocks. So uh, at least once we want to win and take his car so we can. Uh, we can be driving in the racing race racers car that Valerio's car and unlock it also it's one of the faster cars in the game so uh, you can uh, make the first section be go a little bit quicker if you use that car <coughs> so here I'm like totally sh he's like out of the picture I'm totally winning here so yeah don't take that exit as I said now here, if we want, we want to be taking that car. 
we want to take this car. Also, but more importantly, we want to stay with Olga. So she knows who I am, but we want to stick together. This is a more important choice. Taking that guy's car is not, but as I said, we want to unlock the car. So let's take the car. If, we, if you won the race, take the car. Uh, um, there will be an orange car. Um, so like if you go a little bit further, like maybe five cars uh, past, there will be an orange car. If you hit that orange car, he'll start to run away. We want to make sure he and our car is on both on the screen at the same time when we reach the uh, Biareggio. So, yeah, we'll meet the red orange car in a little bit. I think it's coming up very soon here. Okay, so it starts to run away. Make sure you and you don't have to get ahead of the orange car. I don't think you can. It's really fast. Uh, you want to stay on the screen. So as long as both of you are on the screen, that's fine. We're still on the screen. I cut away a little bit. Sometimes he might get uh, get too far ahead and um, get off the screen. But do your best to make sure you're both on. Oh, you can't see it, but he's in PN. But we're still in the same screen, and so yeah, catching up with uh, him is the uh, ending C requirement. So we got ending C. Ending D requirement is uh. Yeah. To lose him, so we're gonna do exactly same thing as we did for ending B. Uh, same choices, uh, doing the same race. If you win, you take his car. Take don't take his car. Doesn't matter. But we're gonna just lose the orange car. Make sure you just drive slow, so you lose it. So that's that's it. That's it. Uh, you got ending C here. Uh, you'll unlock ending C achievement if this is your first time because you are racing in the second and third section uh, for the most part you you will likely get the under 15 achievement if you don't have it which is the baticure so yep now i got a b c and things unlocked and i'll move on to ending t uh, because uh, as i mentioned <coughs> ending d is exactly same as ending c except for the final section where we'll just lose the orange car so I'll just talk uh, here and then I'll uh, meet you back at towards the end of this video so basically take the right exit to Bracciano start the race win or lose the race it doesn't matter keep going straight to Siena uh, answer to stick with Olga uh, let her know that we wanna stick together and then uh, take the car take the pricks car if you want um, if you want the race you don't have to if you lo lost the race you don't get that choice at all and then uh, when you see the orange car just let him let him go fast and to get off the screen and then follow him very s just go slow you don't so that you, the orange car uh, runs away and you're not uh, on the same screen as him when, we, when you guys reach uh, via Reggio
Okay, so the orange car is nowhere in sight, so we lost it when we reach a Via Reggio. Um, that satisfies the requirement for ending D, and you'll get the achievement if that's your first time seeing that. Uh, yep, I think this is a good time to end the part one of this uh, vi achievement walkthrough series. Uh, so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is uh, Sangrius from the Hidden Levels. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, like this video. And uh, we got a website, we got a Twitch uh, stream, and we got Patreon links. Uh, if you want to support us as a team, all of the links are below in the description. Please check them out. And uh, I'll be back with uh, part two and more of uh, this video series uh, for uh, and to get you some achievements in this game.